Hey everyone, how y'all doing today? So originally I have the automatic, but this is the new version. It's called Automatic Pro. And it's a good thing because it tracks your car and it also adapts with your Amazon Echo if you want to know certain things like how much fuel is in your car or where is my car parked. But this does tracking, it does engine decoding, and it can also help you in an accident situation. So yes, this is the pro version. Like I say, I have the original version and it tracks my distance and stuff like that. And it gives you feedback on your driving condition. If you're braking too hard, if you're accelerating too hard, it gives you this feedback and it gives you a score. And based on your driving habits, you can end up getting a hundred or you can get a 50. So it keeps you on track if you're trying to better your driving skills. Plus it helps teach you how to minimize your gas usage. But in this pro version, it comes with a better app as I can tell, and it comes with some other fancy feature. And it plugs right under the dash, right where they used to put that cord in so they can test your emission. This is where this goes. And it tracks everything in the app. Now this one comes with unlimited car monitoring and zero fees. And you can also track your car by monitoring the location anytime, anywhere. You can avoid breakdown by decoding engine problems like a professional does. And you can customize your ride. You can download car apps for fun, business, and performance. So all of these features are built into this device right here that plugs right under your dash. So there it is. This is that little device that you plug into that outlet under your dash. And then you install the app. And once they start communicating, it's going to start tracking all that stuff and relate it into the app. Okay, so that's all that came in the box. I got the little device and a card to let me know how to download the app. So all I have to do now is head out to my HRV, stick this under the dash and install the app and take it to the process. But this fits in any car, you know, I just have an HRV, but if you have something else, it'll still work. Okay, so now that I'm in the vehicle, it's time for me to remove the old automatic. And that one is just a regular one. But the one I'm installing today is the pro version. So the first thing you want to do is reach under the dash. Now, if you have an HRV, use right under where you put the gas pedal. So if you just stick your hand right under that dash area, you will feel it. So there it is right under the gas pedal area. Like I said, it's right under that dash. So you can't miss it. That's my old, old uh, automatic that I have plugged in there now. So I'm going to unplug this one. So now that we got the old one off, let's put the new one back in the spot. All you have to do is just slide it into the groove and plug it in. And there it is right there. So it's that simple. You hear that little beep? That means it's nice and connected. So now all we have to do is go to the app and finish the installation process. Okay, so now that we got the app open, let's go to the process here. It says uh, tour, but we're going to skip the tour. Uh, let's go back. Let's go to the tour. So the first thing that pop up, it says accurate trip log and mileage. The next page says there's a car app for that. So I guess there's a bunch of different apps you can install. The next page says we are here for you in an emergency. Now with the regular automatic, I didn't have this feature. So with this pro version, it says I hope it never happens. But if there's a serious crash, there's a trained responder that will call in a second to help you if needed. Now with this pro version, it has a vehicle tracking feature so I can trap my vehicle in a parking lot so I don't have to worry about walking around, which I don't do anyway. But sometimes you park somewhere, you can't forget where you parked your vehicle. But that's how you are able to find it easier by just pulling up this app. Plus they have a little funny note that says you can see if grandma is joyriding. And that's it. So now all I have to do is create an account or log in so I'm going to try to log in first because I already have an automatic account with the regular automatic. So hopefully with this pro version, all I have to do is log in and don't have to create a brand new account. Okay, so I was able to log in without creating a new account. So now I'm in the welcome screen and now it's time to set up my vehicle. So here it says, let's set up this vehicle with your automatic. So I'm going to click continue. I'm going to enter the PIN number. Oh, I forgot to write down the PIN number. So let me get that device again. And get the PIN number on the back of the device. So enter that PIN number. So I enter that PIN number in the back of the device. And then it told me it was toggling the Bluetooth on and off, which it already did by itself. And now it says time for me to plug in the device, which I already did ahead of time. So I kind of skip a step. But at least the vehicle is off, so I don't have to worry about that part. Click continue. 
and now it's connecting to the adapter. It's just looking for a signal. Okay, so now the device is connected. So it told me I got to update the firmware. So now it's updating the firmware, which it says is going to take a few minutes. Okay, so it did the firmware update. So now I'm at the screen where it tells me to press the button, but don't turn on the engine. So all I need to do is light up the dash. Now it's adding the vehicle. It decoded the pin number. And I guess I got to choose my vehicle type. Let's see which one of these look closely to mine. I would say this one right here. Continue. Color. I don't see my color, but this is the closest to it. Or maybe that one. This should give you a choice where you can pick your own color wheel. Continue. My vehicle nickname is Shadow. Continue. Vehicle is personalized. Click continue. Enter my phone number for the emergency setup. Save number. I can also select some contacts, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'll do that later. And I'm all done. So there's my vehicle. Right now it says it's parked. And I guess it's registering with the network. Okay, so now that I'm back on the inside, what I discovered is you have to make sure you start the car before you can register the device. So when you first start up the app, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see where your vehicle is parking or running and all your trips and stuff like that. And then you can click on the health and see the condition of your vehicle. Right now it says no engine lights. And I haven't logged in a fill up yet because the app is new. But you can log your actual fill ups so you can see how much you're using you know based on your driving condition so when I click on insights it's going to show me my actual driving stats and my driving style if I go into driving stats it's going to show me my previous week that I've drove which is kind of off because last month it wasn't doing any logging but that was the old device so this information is based on the old device not the new one but I can see my distance I can see my duration I can see my speeds, which, like I said, this is old data, but the average speed between this time frame was 20 miles per hour. And my average fuel, which is how much miles per gallon I was getting based on my driving condition. So there you have it. That's the driving stats. So let's go back and check out the driving style. Now, this is where braking and hard driving comes into play. So sitting driving, it was... 40% quicker brakes and acceleration than average. So I was above average. Highway driving, 18% smoother braking and acceleration than average. So I'm good on that one too. Braking style I need to work on. Acceleration style I need to work on. So it tells me I'm more aggressive. So all of this information is showing me my driving style. Like I said, it's showing me how much brake I apply aggressively and it's showing me how much aggressively I press that gas pedal. But this is based on February, like I said, but I had some status in there to show you what the app is actually giving you back as feedback. Now, if I go to the glove box, that's gonna tell me my vehicle number and the syncing of the app and crash alerts. So if I go into my vehicle model number, which is already recognized model Honda HRV 2016. So now it's showing me some information about the uh, vehicle. There's a VIN number above it. I didn't want to show that. So right now it's telling me I got a two wheel drive, four door CVT. My drivetrain is front wheel. That's correct. My engine, the status, the horsepower, all of that stuff. My displacement, you know, 1.8 liter. And it's telling me I use gasoline. It's got a total of 13.2 gallons. The average city is 28 and the average highway is 35. City range, I can get a total of 369.6 and highway, I can get a total of 462 miles based on driving condition. This is average. And sync interrupted mean that I'm not connected to the device right now because the vehicle is not running. So when it's connected, then it's going to start talking to it. So under the crash alert, it's going to call the emergency services in case you're in a serious accident. But it also has some slots for some emergency contact, you know, family members who you want to be contacted in case something happened. 
hopefully it won't. Now if we go under the little settings here, we got nearby gas station. So you can find nearby gas station automatically in this vehicle. You can connect it to IFTT Pro, which is a automated service that can do some things almost like your Amazon Echo smart home thing. But I'll do a separate video on that one. You got car apps that you can install on this thing right here. You got your profile, you got your support, your settings. You can add a vehicle or you can buy an adapter. So all of that's in your settings. So that's what you're looking at. If I go deeper into the settings, I can see the unit, which I already got it set for that stuff. You can improve the trip accuracy. When enabled, it persistently notify you while the vehicle is driving. This will allow the app to use driver's GPS to improve accuracy. Now, I guess you can turn that on and off. I don't know how much of your battery is that going to use, but that's a choice on your end. So let's check out the car apps and see what they got to offer. So in the car app section now, it says you can customize your ride. Discover car apps for business, fun and performance built into the automatic. So let's browse the gallery to see what they have to offer. Right now it says do more with your trips. So the first app says pay tollo, which you can pay for your toll roads with automatic. Uh, it's got Concor, which I guess you can keep track of your expenses. It's got Expensifies, frictionless expenses, Freshbook, Zero, and of course Amazon Echo, something I will be connecting. Auto Smog, IFTTT, something that I use on a regular basis. Uh, Dural Refuel, Muzzly, Ness, something I use also, Rescue Time, a share service that I never heard of, Spot Angels, Stingify, Trip Bots, Your Mechanic. So those are the apps that it has built into the automatic. Now the ones I mainly use off this list will be the Echo, of course, the IFTTT, and the Ness, and uh, I think that's going to be it. But you have a good little choice of apps to choose from there. So you can add those apps and connect them with this device. Okay, so I think that's it for now. Like I said, I will do a video on the IFTTT Pro, which is the IFTTT service, actually and show you how you can make some of that stuff automated as far as connecting that to your car. Now I know you can connect it to your Amazon Echo device to ask her things like where's your car, uh, how much fuel is in there and stuff like that. Those are one of the things and some of the things you can do. It's kind of a device to make your car smart. You know you never know what's going wrong with your car and next thing you know it'll tell you hey this is what's going on because you can see it inside the app. Ask automatic how much gas is in my car. Sorry, I'm having trouble accessing your automatic skill right now. Okay, so the skill is not activated, so I'd have to go in there and activate that skill. But I know it works. And it probably got disconnected from me switching from one device to the next. So I disable the skill, and now I'm going to enable the skill. So now it's linked back to my Alexa account. So all I have to do is close this and say, Ask automatic how much gas is in my car. Your Honda HRV is 56% full. It's that easy. So now I can get all that information from my Amazon Echo device. I might not remember how much gas is in there, but now she can tell me how much gas is in my car before I leave out that morning. So that way I'll know if I have to leave earlier or I can just leave at my regular time. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for taking the time for watching it. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're interested in this automatic, the link is going to be in the description. Just get it if you like to make your car a little bit smart. I like smartness, so that's why I mention it in this video. So anything I can make smart, I try to find them and apply them to my lifestyle. So thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good one.